using a 19 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and remove our lug nuts. Remove the wheel and set it aside. On the passenger side, if you follow the CV axle inward, we're gonna find our sensor, our vehicle speed sensor right here. And on the other side of it, there's gonna be a retainer clip for another wiring harness that is kind of uh, in conjunction with that. So let's go ahead and take a look. So there's a clip on the back with a harness. We're gonna use a pick. Uh, you can use any tool that you have available. Go ahead and just pull that off. It's just a spring-loaded uh, metal retainer. We'll pop that off and that'll give us access to go ahead and remove that vehicle speed sensor. Get underneath that little metal retainer. I'm just gonna try and pop this up. And once we have that retainer clip off there, there is a exposed 10 millimeter nut. Let's go ahead and remove that nut. Using our 10 millimeter shallow socket and our quarter inch drive ratchet, Let's go ahead and remove that nut. It's coming out as a whole stud unit here. Before we remove the sensor, the sensor has a harness with a foil tape on it. We're just gonna use a small pick. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back and off. So by pulling back that foil tape that exposes this gray connector on the uh, gray lock on the back side of the connector itself. In order to separate a harness from that, we have to pull back on this gray locking tab and then disconnect the connector. Before we do that, we're simply going to grab our sensor now and wiggle that out and free. You can use our pick. Okay, work our lock tab back a little bit. Once that's released, you wanna press on this center section right here. And we're gonna pull our sensor off. Line up your connector. Go ahead and press that on. Make sure that your lock tab is far enough back. And once it's pressed and locked into place, press on your gray lock tab, snap that in, and take your new sensor. Now we did put a little bit of transmission oil on the O-ring to help that slide in a little easier. Slide that in a place. Let's go ahead and install our stud in the back. Line up the little bracket on the back side. So you wanna go ahead and snug down this bolt. If you have a torque wrench, you can get it in there. You wanna go ahead and torque this to 8.8 .8 foot pounds or 106 inch pounds. Go ahead and grab your harness in the back and you have that little metal retaining tab. You wanna go ahead and push it down on top of that stud. At this point here, we're going to try and just rewrap our foil tape as far as we can. And I'm just going to put some electrical tape on here as well to try and reseal that around the perimeter. Let's go ahead and install our wheel. I'm going to start all of our lug nuts and get those threaded on by hand first. Once all these are on, I'm going to go ahead and get those snug down. Let's go ahead and torque down our wheels to 100 foot-pounds. 